Hey there, Samidian here, and welcome back to Marvel Legendary. Last time, we defeated the Hydra High Council and had some trouble with our YouTube ad blocker that we were using to play our music, so hopefully that problem does not continue, and if it does, I'm going to need to start using different soundtracks, one that's ones that I actually have local for these videos, which would suck because... I've gotten used to this one. I've gotten used to the two who. Anything else is going to feel off now. Today we're facing Claw. Claw is double empowered by the colors of his sonic frequencies. He always leads the enemies of Wakanda. And Master Strike put the top card of the hero deck next to Claw as a sonic frequency, putting any other frequency on the bottom of the hero deck. Each player must reveal a card that shows a color with it or gain a wound. So he steals some cards from the top of the deck, and he gets empowered by those colors. Easy enough. It's going to be harder if there's a lot of dual class cards, uh, such as from this one. But we'll see how this goes. And his scheme is to enthrone the Barons of Battle World. Set up eight twists. Twist one through seven. The villain in the city or escape pile with the highest printed attack ascends to become a new mastermind. It gets plus two attack. It gains the ability... Master Strike. Each player discards a card with cost equal to this Mastermind's printed VP. Keep them separate from villains who ascend through escape effects. Twist 8. The villain in each player's victory pile with the highest printed attack ascends the same way. Evil wins when there are 6 Masterminds. Okay, so just kill the Masterminds. Easy. Easy enough. We're also facing Strange's Demons and the Cape Killers, playing as Shang-Chi, Colossus and Wolverine, Bishop, Speed, and Silver Surfer. It's an interesting rare. I bet he's got a lot of focus effects, or getting extra recruit, or if we're getting extra recruits useful. Okay, click the button. Four, four split on both sides. So shield clearance means you need to discard a shield card to fight him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Silver Surfer is recruit focused. Sounds simple enough. So I guess one side should take the Silver Surfer cards and try to get the lot of recruit. Left side's going to take a lot of recruit cards for Silver Surfer. Fight, Soulbind a Henchman, draw two cards. You may do that Henchman's fight effect. Interesting. So Soulbinding a Henchman means you turn it face down to get the effect. draw two, and I can do the Henshin's fight effect again. Cool. So, I want this on the left. These two I can take on the right. I kind of want to take whatever the cost and the sidekick. Is that weird? This card currently doesn't do anything, though. Until I can get a covert. Go along with it. I could take reliable, unpredictable. Fight, soulbind another villain, K one of your heroes. Okay. I 
I'm going to buy an officer, I think, just to get more recruit. Or I could take reliable and predictable on this side as well. There's no reason I need it on the right. And this is basically an officer. Scheme twist. The villain in the city or escape pile with the highest printed attack ascends to become a new mastermind. Gets plus two attack. Okay, uh, so it's going to be one of these. Um, I guess I get to choose, and it doesn't really matter. Take this one. You're a mastermind now. You get plus two attack, and you have a new master strike ability. Okay, I want to take that on the left. So I could take whatever the costs and the sidekick. Or two whatever the costs. Why not? It's funny. We need some covert. have six recruit this turn which is enough to buy the power cosmic so I'm going to do that I'm going to play reliable by the power cosmic there's that covert card I need on the right very good Ambush. Each player must soulbind a Strange's Demon Villain or discard a card. Well, no one has any Strange's Demon Villains in their victory pile, so each side needs to discard a card. Hmm. I want to buy this card this turn, so I need four recruit. So I guess this doesn't really matter. I'm gonna buy this. Another one. All right, we got another mastermind showing up. It's gonna be this one. Okay, I need to remember that this mastermind is different than if he was a mastermind from escaping. It's going to be a little rough to remember, but I'll try. Uh, I guess I take Epic Destiny. I guess I'm just going full recruit. Master Strike. So I need to do all of these. I guess it doesn't matter which order. I'm gonna do this first. Okay, so he is now double empowered by red. And uh, each player must reveal a red card or gain a wound. This side has a red card, this side doesn't. Then these two, each player must discard a card that costs two and costs five. That's unfortunate. Nothing on this side, though. I could recruit this this turn, or I could fight this this turn. Um, these guys don't have particularly terrible escape effects. I don't mind leaving them in for a little bit longer. Could absorb energies for it helps me trigger whatever the cost and it synergizes well with whatever the cost okay so I will recruit this turn it's an unfortunate that shield clearance is getting pretty annoying powered by tech I 
could do the focus effect to fight you, or I could buy another the power cosmic. I don't feel threatened by any of these escaping, so I think I'm just going to keep recruiting. Playing reliable again, I'm going to buy the power cosmic. Do I take this, or just a big attack card that could possibly get bigger, or do I take Acrobatic Kung Fu to help me trigger whatever the cost? I think I want a big attack card. Alright, this has escaped, so I need to KO something from in here. I think I'm going to KO... This doesn't really synergize with much. It's only a two recruit card with a one attack Berserk Berserk, which... The Berserk Berserk doesn't work on this side at all. It works okay on this side. Yeah. Ah, that's the card that I want. Okay, everything's coming up Millhouse. Buy this for seven. And uh, everything's great now. I'm gonna buy a sidekick. Okay, Master Strike again. This goes on the bottom, and he gets a new card, and each player must reveal a, car a strength card or gain a wound. Uh, this side has a strength card, this side doesn't. And then each player must discard a 2 and a 5 cost card. Nope. Let me play these first and then figure out what I want to do. Or, hold on. Uh, I could have 4 Recruit this turn, 4 Recruit, 4 Attack, or 2 Recruit, 5 Attack, Berserk, Berserk. Um, I could get a KO this turn. If I play this and this and discard this to fight this, and then I could have 4 Recruit to Recruit this. I think I like that idea. Okay. So I'm going to play Reliable. And this would also give me two extra recruit for KOing a card I own this turn. Okay, so I'm going to fight this for three. Shield clearance, discard this, and I fight KO a card from my discard pile. And whenever a card I own is KO'd this turn, I get plus two recruits. I can buy Seek the Empty Mind. Or Concussive Blast. This is more likely to trigger than this, I think. And it also helps my, uh, what are they called? Whatever the cost. And fight this. KO a card from your discard pile, so I could KO the wound. Fight you for three. Uh, fight KO a card from your discard pile. Oh, I needed to discard this for that. The shield clearance. Take speedy delivery. Synergize as well with my recruit synergy. Um, and gives one attack, which... Like, the main reason to use the recruit synergy is for this card, right? So I want attack to go along with this. So I'll take it.
Scheme twist. The villain with the highest printed attack in the city, or blah 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 blah. Sends to become a new mastermind. Okay, I need to start killing some of these extra masterminds, otherwise I'm going to lose. Because when there's six masterminds, I lose. Uh, the rooftops are not empty, unfortunately. But I do get to trigger this. Draw a card, and I can KO a card from my hand or discard pile. Five attack this turn isn't enough to fight a mastermind. But it is enough to fight this, which would give me another KO. I could soulbind this henchman to draw two and also get another KO, but I don't have a fight. I don't have a discard pile. So I could soulbind this to get the KO, or I could just fight Nightshade. KO this one. I'm gonna fight this. Fight Soulbind another villain. To KO one of my heroes. To recruit, I'm gonna buy a sidekick. Okay, the thing is, I don't really want to flood my deck too much, because I need to get to this card. You know what I mean? So if I just buy a ton of officers and stuff like that, it's not going to be that useful, because I'm going to be drawing the power cosmic less. Um, but I do want to keep the HQ moving, so I think I'll buy Shuffling Footwork. And Epic Destiny, just because it fits well. Um, I do want to keep the HQ moving. Scheme Twist. Okay, we get a fifth Mastermind. That's a problem. One more and I lose. I believe I've gone too slow. But maybe this will work out. Okay, so I can't fight you this turn. Or you. I don't have a henchman, though, so I should fight you for six. Uh... I do do the fight effect still, right? Yeah, I don't see why not. It's like the fight effect's the same as the um, Master Strikes or Mastermind Tactics. So I think I still get the fight effect. Don't see why I wouldn't. Okay, I'll fight this for six. Uh, and a soul bind another villain to KO one of my heroes. And I guess I'm playing reliable. Unless I berserk away enough attack to fight this by acrobatic kung fu. Guarantee I trigger the next whatever the cost of okay. Ooh, that's spicy. It's a good thing I okay. Uh, I think I'll put out Nightshade. It's because she's easier to kill than the Cape Killers. All right, I look at the top three cards of my deck, I draw one and put the rest back in any order. Hmm. 
double the recruit I have. Okay, and then I'm going to focus nine to get nine attack. And I need to kill some stuff in here. Okay. Uh, you're at... Can't fight two of these. I don't have the shield clearance. Uh, if I don't play this, I'll have nine attack. And then I can fight both this and this. Or this and this. I don't have a discard pile though. But this does let me draw two. Okay. I'm going to fight this for... Oh wait, I have an idea. No, I'm just going to fight this for, for six. Uh, I soulbind a henchman to draw two cards, and I may do its fight effect. I don't have a discard pile, though. Then I'm going to fight you for three by discarding this and fight KO a card from my discard pile. I think I'm going to buy a sidekick and a new recruit. I don't think I want normal officers anymore. Even though it does synergize well with what I'm doing over here. Oh boy. I mean, I'm still saved for now. To attack, the rooftops are empty, so I get an extra attack. And then I draw a card, and I make KO a card from my hand or discard pile. KO this. Then patrol my discard pile, and if it's empty, I get plus two attack. Could fight Claw this turn. I kind of need to clear these guys out, though. Um, fight you for nine. Two recruit by a sidekick. I hate that one. is an unfortunate combination of things that I have right now. <sighs> I could buy a Concussive Blast. Just a big attack card. But turns like this are the worst where I have the Power Cosmic but do not have the recruits to focus it. I think I'll buy one Officer. One officer, a sidekick, and a new recruit. Okay, to attack, and then I draw a card and make KO a card from my hand or discard pile. I'm going to KO this, which gives me two extra recruit. another KO this turn. Or, yeah, fight this with shield clearance. By discarding this. Or no, by discarding this. And fight KO a card from my discard pile. I'm gonna KO this. And whenever I card I own is KO this turn, I get two recruits. to buy Race to the Rescue and another Absorb Energies. Powered by Ranged. Ambush put a hero from the HQ that isn't empowering any enemies of Wakanda on the bottom of the hero deck. Okay, so that would be one of these two. This is getting to be a problem. Um, yeah. Hmm. 
sidekick and three new recruits. Okay, one attack draw a card. Control my discard pile. If it's empty, I get plus two attack. Going to... I'm just gonna fight this, but what if I just play everything? I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 14 attack. I could fight both of these. I'm going to fight this for 7. Fight Soulbind, a bystander, draw 2 cards. Uh, I don't have a bystander to Soulbind. I'm going to fight you for five. Fight, you get plus one recruit for each tech here in the city. There aren't any. Draw two. I'm going to copy the sidekick. Draw two more. All right. Sidekick and two new recruits. I don't. This side isn't working out as well as I thought it was. Um, Uh, three attack, I'm going to choose... Ranged. Get, get down there. When I draw a card and I can KO a card from my hand or discard pile. Then I draw a card and can KO a card from my hand or discard pile. This is six attack. Uh -huh. I want this. So that means I need to play the recruit side of this card. Buy this for two. Actually, I don't play this one yet. Okay, what am I doing this turn? You're only at 8, so I could fight you and also fight a Cape Killers for the shield clearance. And with that card, KO... Uh, I don't want to KO anything from my discard pile currently. I guess I could KO this. Okay. Fight you for 3. With the shield clearance and fight KO a card from my discard pile. I'm gonna fight Claw for eight. Fight each other player simultaneously KOs one of their non gray heroes. Put one of those cards with the lowest cost next to Claw as his new sonic frequency. KO one of their non gray heroes. That sucks. I mean, I guess this one isn't as important as the other ones. Like, losing Epic Destiny isn't that big of a deal, I don't think. Still sucks, though. Alright, one attack, draw a card. I'm going to phase this card. And I'm going to one attack, berserk, berserk. What a combo. Let me not play this yet. I'm going to fight this for three. By discarding this, fight shield clearance KO a card from your discard pile. And 
I get plus two recruit usable only to recruit people in this space, but I don't want that card, so that doesn't matter. And then I'm going to buy a sidekick. Oh, and fight you for three. Wait, did I spend my attack? No, I don't have extra attack. You're at six, going to shatter you. Discard pile is empty, so this is three attack and two extra attack. Then I draw a card and make KO a card from my hand or discard pile. Um, just fight claw this turn. Fight Claw for 8 because he's empowered by strength, which isn't in the HQ. Fight, put the top card of the hero deck next to Claw as a song. Frequency, each other player must discard a card that shares a color with it. This is the turn that I like. Okay, focus nine. Uh, you're at 12 currently. So I can't fight you this turn. I could buy this first. hope another one doesn't come out and then fight you with that. I would go on top of my deck. Which I guess is fine. Didn't work. That's unfortunate. In that case, I'm going to fight Tetsu for six. Fight, put it here from the HQ that isn't empowering any heroes of Wakanda on the bottom of the hero deck. So that is currently tech, strength, and covert. Put you on the bottom. Five attack, gonna fight Jakarba. Fight K one of your heroes. Two attack, two attack. Draw a card, and then I may KO a card from my hand or discard pile. KO this, which gives me four recruit. Buy this for four, which wall crawls. Um, then three attack. I'm going to choose uh, Covert. And then I'm going to draw a card. Then I'm going to KO a card from my hand or discard pile. I'm going to KO this actually, I think. Sounds dumb, but trust me, I'm a doctor. I'm 
to fight Claw for 10. Fight, rescue four bystanders. This tactic enters the city as a villain whose only ability is escape. This card becomes a master strike that takes effect immediately. Okay. One. Two. Three. Judge one of these cards to be best in show. I'll take this one. Four. Top four cards, the special bystander stack. I can rescue a special bystander from among them. Uh, take this one. The rest go on the bottom. Uh, reveal top three cards to the hero deck. The player of your choice gains one of them to cost three or less. Put the rest back in any order. And this enters the city. Okay, patrol my discard pile. If it's empty, I get plus two attack. Uh, should I clear the city? Probably. I could fight Claw again for 10. I don't care if these things escape. Yeah. I'm just going to fight Claw again for 10. Fight. Set aside all heroes from the HQ that do not share any colors with Claw's sonic frequency. Gain one of them, put the rest back on the bottom of the hero deck, then reveal the empty HQ spaces. Yeah, I refill after. I gain one of these. Race to the rescue, probably. Or Concussive Blast, actually. Yeah, Concussive Blast. I have enough range to make that work. And then, then afterwards I refill the HQ. pretty well on the right, but the right doesn't have recruit cards anymore. Be pretty terrible on the left. Okay, this is escape, so I need to KO something from here. I should KO this so that his frequency is less. That didn't help. One attack, draw a card. 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 Six. Okay. I'm going to focus nine. And fight Claw for 12 and win. Alright, cool game. Uh, this went weirdly. The problem with this big recruit plan is if you don't draw this card it's not going to work. And if you don't draw this card in combination with uh, this card, then like this card has no point. Um, so I got really lucky with the way the draws worked out, where I always got a power cosmic with the rare. The deck was cool, but I think it was too inconsistent. Um, but it ended up working out. I'm going to count some VP. Left side got 19. That's incredibly low. And the right side got... Forty. Also pretty low. 
um, considering how long the game was. It's weird that, that I guess the game was relatively quick. Yeah, I guess it was pretty quick. I still had 12 turns left. I don't know how I feel about this game. It felt weird. Yeah, th this game felt weird. I like this deck a lot. The uh, Covert Instinct hybrid stuff. KO'd all my greys. No more starter cards. Had a couple big chonky concussive blasts in here. Yeah, I like this. This deck was cool. Bishop cool hero when he works out. Anywho, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.